The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Dieter Schwartz, Market Development Manager for uh, Cantera Seeds, joins us here on uh, the Soybean School. And Dieter, soybean planting underway right now in Western Canada. Everybody's in a rush or, or wanting to be in a rush. Maybe the, the wet conditions aren't allowing them to be. But uh, as planting gets underway, some details to, uh, to keep in mind during that rush to, to actually stop and, and make sure you're not making a mistake along the way, right? That's correct. So one of the things I want to emphasize this morning is that uh, all of us uh, have a lot of things on our plate this time of year and uh, we all want to get things done and get things done fast and uh, check things off our list and, and one of them is to to pick up the seed and get it in the ground as quickly as we can. Now, all of us seem to be in a bit of a race this time of year and uh, we can uh, sometimes uh, it's very easy to make some uh, some mistakes very quickly and uh, really, if we just take a minute to, uh, to double check all our numbers, our facts and figures, and make sure that the seed going in the ground goes in the ground the right way. So what I wanted to emphasize here this morning is just to take a minute when you're picking up your seed um, and double check the seed sizing. So um, I have uh, two samples of uh, two varieties here that are um, uh, two different varieties. and. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but certainly um, these two varieties are, are quite different, not only in appearance, but certainly in size. So once again, wanna emphasize the importance of making sure that you set your, um, your planter and or your air seeder, uh, whichever equipment you may be using, for the right seed size. Um, seed sizing can vary greatly, um, and uh, that is always very easy to remember when you're picking uh, up uh, the, the seed in bags such as this one. You notice very quickly um, our plot bags come in 140,000 seed units and there it's very easy to tell as you're actually physically picking up the bag that wow this one's a lot heavier than this one and therefore the seed size is larger. However, most of the seed in Manitoba is picked up in bulk, uh, goes in in bulk and um, therefore it's really important to check with your retailer, ask them for the seed sizing. They will give you um, a little label, I believe it's written on here, that'll give you a seeds per pound or per kg, make sure you know which one uh, they're giving you. And that then corresponds to uh, a chart and uh, we conveniently put it on our, um, on our plot seed bags here but you can ask for a chart like this from your retailer as well. Um, that will correspond to um, seeds per pound and then of course how many seeds per um, foot of row or how many seeds per acre you want to put in. And uh, this chart I believe goes all the way up to 225 or 250,000. So certainly from planters to air seeders uh, will give you a range of um, how many seeds per foot of row you should be putting down and or um, how many seeds per pound and how many seeds per acre. So um, you can very easily uh, look things up and make sure that uh, you're putting in the right amount of seed um, as per your agronomist recommendation or the recommendation for your area. Uh, I get calls every year, uh, unfortunately, when uh, people switch varieties, sometimes because they run out of one and switch to another, uh, where they didn't make any adjustments on their planter or drill and then all of a sudden find out that they put on way more seed or way less as the case may be than what they had intended to do and of course that comes with some unintended agronomic consequences in the field. Mm -hmm. So are we seeing more variation this year than other years or, or, or is this something that it's obviously something growers need to keep in mind every, every spring? Well it's a, it's a I guess it's a result of growing conditions in the previous uh, seed growing year uh, some varieties are just more prone to either throw a larger seed or a smaller seed. Um, we try to distribute our seed production acres across the entire province and now into Saskatchewan. Um, and um, that can uh, not only result in variation from variety to variety, but it's really important to also note that there can be a size variation from seed lot to seed lot. So um, if you're uh, still picking up the same variety, 
Um, check with your retailer uh, to see if they have switched lots by chance and uh, then make sure that uh, the person bringing you the seed um, communicates that to the person running the planter or the air seeder as well. Uh, so once again, keep in mind, it's not just varietal, it can also be lot to lot, uh, depending on where those lots are grown and the conditions that they were grown under. Okay, so seed size is of course critical. Uh, another thing would be treatment, make sure you're picking up seed that has the right treatment that you're looking for? Yes, correct. So um, certainly with soybeans, it's a little bit easier because once again, most, uh, most soybeans are being picked up in bulk nowadays. And uh, a lot of growers are watching their, their beans being treated as they're going on the truck. Um, but yes, make sure you know what you're getting. Um, make sure that if you've uh, ordered uh, liquid inoculant, uh, that that's going on. And, uh, and just double check. And uh, once again, uh, on these plot bags, of course, we, uh, we reflect that with tags, but uh, you know, ask your retailer to, uh, to give you a tag for the treatment as well, just to keep on your files and your records. Um, that is also very important uh, if ever there was a need for a reseed claim or that sort of thing. Uh, we wanna make sure that your beans went in the ground protected and had the best possible start. And um, you know, as things are going in, Somewhat early this year, generally we recommend uh, second or third week in May, and we've had great conditions and uh, quite a few beans have gone in. Um, sometimes when, uh, when beans sit on the ground for uh, more than 20 days or so, then our seed treatment can start to break down and, and we lose that protection. So it's important that the right amount has gone on in the first place and that we have that soybean seed protected sitting in the ground. All right. Finally, Dieter, more of a, a general question. You mentioned there has been uh, quite a bit of planting al already in Western Canada when it comes to this year's beans. Statistics Canada talking about a, a record crop, almost 3 million acres in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. How, how are you seeing things unfold so far, or are we going to reach that kind of level? You know, there, there have been a lot of questions, and uh, it's interesting, um, you know, as, as, we're, as we're talking as an industry, uh, and I think uh, you yourself raised that question, where are those extra acres coming from? Um, certainly, we have seen a lot more interest in soybeans in uh, some, some new areas, uh, particularly in Saskatchewan. Um, there's rumors of soybean acres having tripled there. Um, I don't want to be a doubting Thomas here, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be quite reaching those numbers. Um, the acres just don't quite add up. However, we will see an increase overall in soybean numbers, both in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. So for those of us in that, in that business, it's exciting times. It's a busy time. Uh, I also want to mention, um, no matter how busy you are, take time out for safety and uh, get home safe to your family at night. <laughs>